have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and this is just the quick update and I do mean quick of what's going on and it's basically me getting busy with other stuff and unfortunately I haven't got much done. The truck is the main focus today and I've got to get underneath of it and change the transmission pan. That pan that's on that truck has vibrated since the day I first bought it and even though I changed the fluid and filter when I first bought it, uh, it continued to make a, a buzzing noise and I found that the filter is just sitting on the pan vibrating. So what I did was uh, dented the pan a little bit to see if I could get that noise to go away to confirm that was the problem. And the noise still, while very slight, did go away for the most part. But now, of course, the pan's dented and I don't want a dented pan on there because it could restrict the flow going into the transmission filter. So I bought a new pan a little bit different design so I got to install that uh, the tow vehicle other than the windshield will be done I won't have anything really else that I need to do on the truck to tow the camper for this entire camping season so that'll be interesting to see how it does because this year I think we're going to try to run up to uh, Lake Erie and see what the camping's like up there we haven't been to one of our favorite campsites uh, East Harbor State Park it's part of the Ohio State Park system. Apologize for the noise because I'm using the audio on the camera today and it picks up everything. As you can hear the traffic as it goes by. But yeah the projects I'll show you real quick kind of pile up. Um, people dropping off equipment. These are already repaired ready to go out and I have a part coming in for uh, this beast tomorrow. Uh, it needs a new starter. The starter shot and then I've got a car that my wife's uh, brother handed off to her. So I've got to uh, do some work on that. She's going to start driving it apparently. She says it gets a little bit better gas mileage than her Buick. And then we'll finally get into the camper. And you can see the tires haven't moved. They're still just like they were when I installed them on there. So uh, the camper doesn't have any of the equipment in it that it needs. All the paraphernalia, the grill, the canopies, the chairs, uh, a lot of our toiletries. The only thing in there right now is some linens and uh, the beds made. And once that's taken care of, I think that I'll be able to actually do some sort of video of us uh, camping. Now we have intentions of doing something over Memorial Day, like probably everybody in the country. And I tried to advise uh, Heidi not to do that. I uh, we probably still will because if that's what she wants that's what I'll give her but it's uh it's a handful Memorial Day is really tough because not only is the campgrounds packed um, and it's hard to get reservations but it's just a lot of traffic and it's a lot of different traffic I usually see more campers at least here in Ohio I don't know how it is in other parts of the country you can put comments down below and let me know but I know in Ohio on Memorial Day, I will see more campers and more boats being pulled than ever before. Um, it's like it's the breaking point. Everybody just at that point knows there is no chance in a million years that it's going to snow and freeze over, which who knows, maybe that'll change in a few uh, decades here with uh, whatever our climate is doing. <laughs> but. Uh, in Ohio, that's kind of the breaking point for everybody. Now, I'm a little bit more optimistic. Uh, I think that uh, the beginning of May, we usually don't have any freezes or anything like that. Although we had a few nights there at the uh, end of April uh, that got cold, got down to freezing again. Um, it's usually just for a couple of hours. So. Hopefully we'll get some videos on here of us camping. What we're wanting to do is get some videos of the campgrounds that are in the area that we visit, which at this point I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that we might already be out there. Uh, so we got some making up to do. Also, uh, riding around on the moped, I've got to get a camera rig set up that'll work a little bit better than what I currently have. Uh, but we'll try to get some videos of what it looks like uh, at some of these campgrounds and uh, we'll give you thoughts on what it's like inside of our camper whenever we're staying and uh, interacting with the camper more on a one-on-one -on -one 
on camper basis <laughs> if that's even a thing so i appreciate you watching rv daydream if you like this video click like or subscribe go ahead and stay tuned uh for more and we'll try to make them a little bit more entertaining but this is just an update and uh, i got some stuff to do today so i'll talk to you later bye